state Democrats met with college students today in East Lansing to warn them about what they're calling the dangers of Project 2025. Nick Simon was there to listen in and also talk to Republicans to hear what they have to say. And he's here for you now with both sides of the story. Project 25, 2025 is also known as the Presidential Transition Project. It's a textbook for new conservative leaders that lays out a series of goals and plans. Democrats say it's a preview of what Trump's next term would look like. So if Trump wins, we know that he's going to use his Project 2025 to um, have his extreme agenda be put into place. Project 2025 mentions abortion more than 100 times and lists dozens of ways to effectively ban the procedure nationwide. His goal, make no mistake, is to ban abortion in all 50 states, including Michigan. But conservatives say that trying to tie the entire Republican agenda to one document is just a distraction. I would define it as a far-left radical conspiracy theory that I do not know anything about and that uh, the people that I knock doors with and the constituents that I talk to on a daily basis know nothing about it either. Representative Jamie Thompson says that she's been a victim of similar attacks and was tagged as a supporter of the plan. There was no article. There was no statement. It was just a screenshot of a lot of representatives' names, and our names were highlighted. And that was completely false. Um, no one has ever asked me until this interview, actually, what I even thought about it. The head of the Trump campaign in Michigan tells me that his official plan as president is listed in Agenda 47, not Project 2025. The official document says that Trump's position on abortion remains, leave it up to the states, and not a national ban. But Democrats say that if you want to see the truth, you need to look at what they do, not what they say. On Friday, Donald Trump endorsed upholding ex Florida's extreme abortion ban pledging to vote against restoring reproductive freedom in every state. And even though Trump continues to claim that he's not affiliated with Project 2025, many of the architects of the plan were key members of his administration the first time around and had a hand in shaping major policy decisions. Democrats remain skeptical that a second term would be any different. Back to you.